Scorpio, my beautiful Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Venus, or Rising, welcome to your channeled message reading. Let's see what your message is. You have the Queen of Wands. Hmm. Judgment. Hmm. Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Venus, or Rising. Eight of Swords. Yeah, it's time to make a final decision about something or someone. This is pertaining to your personal life, most likely love. Let's see here. Yeah, Three of Swords, Eight of Swords. You're seeing the truth about a Queen of Wands. Yeah, you're seeing the truth about a Queen of Wands. I could be talking to a Scorpio male. Um, you don't, like, I feel like you've turned a blind eye to, to this person's red flags you had such high hope, high expectations of this individual. You keep on giving them chance after chance, but they just keep on showing you who they really are. You know, when you see the judgment, yes, it represents a final decision, but it could also mean that something's being called to your attention and you need to acknowledge what's being called to your attention to make a final decision about it. I feel like you've been at a standstill with the Eight of Swords. Um, let's clarify this Queen of Wands here. Yeah, this is someone who has, like, Five of Swords is unresolved conflict. You just can't seem to resolve things with this individual. You might be very attracted to this woman, but is there really compatibility there, right? Is there really chemistry? Page of Swords, you're still very curious about her. There's so much conflict, though, with the Five of Wands. The two of you just can't compromise. The two of you just can't get on the same page with each other. I feel like it's a compatibility issue. I feel like, yes, you feel drawn to this person. You know, you might even feel some sort of connection there. There's an attraction, but are you, are the two of you compatible? The Ace of Cups represents new beginnings, new beginnings in love. That's your happiness, your joy. You had such high expectations of this connection. You thought that she was your new your opportunity for new love, you know, but actually it looks like the three with the three of swords, you're going to be separating yourself from her. Uh, the three of swords is heartbreak. Then you have the eight of cups walking away from an investment. Okay. That's what the eight of cups is leaving the past behind, having the courage and the bravery, the strength, the strength is overcoming difficulties, bravery, courage, um, to really leave this behind. Hmm. I'm also seeing here that you're you're being called to forgive this individual. They really, really let you down. Like I can feel your disappointment, but you're I really believe that your guides are calling for you to forgive um, this person. Yeah, forgive this person and just try to move things forward. Uh, Scorpio, the Six of Swords, healing, moving things from rough waters to calmer waters so that you will release this person to make room for someone much better who you will be meeting in your future. Ace of Wands, the passion was there, the excitement, the spark, the adventure, it was all there, but something was missing. Let's see what the problem was in this connection. Five of Cups. What was the problem in this connection? Holy Spirit, thank you for guiding us. What was the problem in this connection? Seven of Cups. Hmm. Hmm. What was the problem in this connection? Let me see here. I'm trying to get to the root of this problem. Seven of Swords. Hmm. This person turned out to be someone that they aren't. The world. Was this person scandalous? There's a scandal here that you believe they were a part of. You're suspicious of this person. Yeah. 
you don't, but I'm getting, you don't have physical proof. Like you don't have concrete proof of what you are suspecting this person did, but they did do it. Whatever you're suspecting they did, yes, Scorpio, they did do it. Um, let me see here. Very sneaky, very sneaky. I feel like the first thing that I'm seeing about her is... she has unfinished business from her past. The world is in the reverse. In the upright, it is someone who has successfully completed a chapter of their life. A successful completion is what the world represents. I'm seeing there's two main scenarios that I'm getting, Scorpio. You could have been dealing with someone who doesn't complete chapters. So she has a tendency of reconnecting with people from her past and being disloyal to you, right? The Seven of Swords, it's its a big scandal card. It's a big sneaky card. It's someone who's lying, cheating, manipulating, withholding important information, sabotaging. Um, so it could be that she was reconnecting with people from her past because she has a pattern, a habit of not completing chapters with people and then reconnecting with them. So there could have been disloyalty issues, right? I'm also seeing that you could have been dealing with, okay, how do I put this nicely? You could have been dealing with a woman who was seeing you as, you know, someone who could, who, who she could use. This woman could have, this is the second scenario. So the first scenario, okay, the first storyline here is you're dealing with a woman who has a lot of chapters of her life incomplete. So she tends to return to her past and that's where the, the disloyalty comes from. The second scenario that I'm seeing is this woman could have been using you for, for money, using you to take care of herself or even people in her family, especially if she has, a, um, I'm seeing here that for some of you, she could have a foreign background. OK, so I'm seeing something about transferring money, transferring money back home. Right. When people say back home, that's where they originally come from. So there could have been some sort of decep deception with money. The six of pentacles, equal give and take, reciprocity, um, taking things from you and giving it to others. So if it's something that you bought for her, she's sharing it with others. There's something about sharing what you gave her, like her using you for financial security, not just to take care of herself, but maybe to take care of her family and friends back home. There's some, look, I can't make this up. Everything is fine. And then the moon, it fell on my lap, but I'm still going to show you. She, This woman is very good at covering it up because everything is fine. The moon and the ace of swords, right? So she convinced you that everything was fine. She's not doing anything deceptive, but the moon is deception. The moon is, it represents things that are hidden, darkness, false people, places, and things. Ace of swords is the truth and clarity. Your intuition was very sharp. You did see things clearly, but she was masking it. She was trying to convince you that everything is fine, but no, there was deception. There's two things that I'm seeing here. Two things. She was re reconnecting with people from her past. She doesn't complete the chapters in her life. So there's a disloyalty issue, right? The, the second scenario that I'm seeing, there's some sort of transfer of the material things that you were giving her. It wasn't just for her. She was giving it to other people as well. So you could have been taking care of her her whole family, friends, like, you know what I'm saying? And not even be aware of it. She was not honest with you at all. We're going to continue this reading in the extended. Yeah, because your heart is broken. You're showing up as the King of Cups. I believe I'm talking to a male Scorpio. You're showing up as a King of Cups. You're deeply in your feelings about this because you were wrong. You were wrong. They were, this person who you've been with, they're not who they say they are. This person who you saw as your lover, your partner, your companion, you came together with them, 
they are very deceitful and very sneaky and scandalous. We're going to continue this reading in the extended. Um, my beautiful Scorpio, um, I really hope that this message helps you. I hope it gives you some confirmation because you have a strong intuition. Scorpios are known to be very spiritually gifted anyways. Um, but we're going to continue this reading in the extended. I will put the link to the extended in the description box. I will also pin it in the comment section. So it'll be the very first comment that you see. We'll dig deeper into this and I will reveal more of her deception to you. Trust your intuition. Don't let anybody gaslight you, Scorpio. Um, if you're interested in connecting with me more, uh, you're welcome to visit my website. You can book a private reading with me. Um, I also offer other spiritual services too. So all that will be in the description box. I'll see you guys in the extended.